Hi, beautiful people, amazing, passionate chefs. I'm cooking today something so simple. You can definitely do this. If you cannot cook, you can cook this. I have some leftovers caprese from this morning and a few tomatoes that you see are already inside the oil. So, we never throw anything away. If you have something in the fridge, you have to recycle it, you haven't eaten it, you can put it together and make a beautiful pasta. I use a touch of olive oil in low fire my water is boiling, so I'm actually going to start putting my orecchiette inside. Orecchiette takes a little bit longer, so while you're making your simple sauce with tomato, basil and mozzarella, mozzarella you put it afterwards, I'm gonna show you, you put a touch of orecchiette, 12 minutes, Okay, I'm putting a little bit of peperoncino and I'm putting my nice garlic. I don't want too much garlic in this sauce, so I put it whole and I'll show you what I'm going to do afterward. Don't burn anything here. You don't want to burn it, okay? Very low fire. I have my nice tomatoes here. I turn off the fire and I start playing with them. Just a few pieces of tomato. What do I do? I squeeze them. These are very well ripe tomatoes. Salt inside the water only. No salt anywhere else. A bunch of salt in here. Orecchiette is a wonderful dish. It's from Puglia. Usually we make them fresh. Now I'm using a really nice orecchiette brand. It's very difficult to find, but when you find orecchiette, you must buy them. Now I have my few tomatoes incorporated. I'll go with a little bit of basil. This is going to become a really nice sauce. Oh, fantastic. Just a touch of wine. I have a nice passata pomodoro here. Turning off the fire. So nothing kind of burns, eh? Put a little bit of passata, a touch of passata pomodoro, you see? So I make it a little bit more red. Yummy. Allora, what happens here? I am making my orecchiette and while this is boiling, I'm preparing my sauce. So my sauce and my orecchiette takes everything together 12 minutes. Knife changes the taste of my mozzarella. I love to work with it in my hands. I put a little bit of more basil. Look at this. I mix all together. I put a touch of pepper. If you like pepper, you put more. Let's go for my orecchiette. The mix is the most important part. The mix. Yes. This is the deal here. The mix with the water and the tomato sauce. Let's go. You see that there's water? Now this is going to happen. I take it out al dente because I put two minutes inside my sauce. 
with a little bit of pasta water, that's where the magic happens. I've waited my few minutes, water is going away. I've add up a little bit of more basil. If you love basil, go for it. Just go, just try new things. Look at that. You see the consistency is perfect. So now all the water is out. I'm putting a little bit of mozzarella so that it melts all together. I am crazy about this dish. You see, I put a little bit of mozzarella and then I put the rest afterwards. Look at that. Look at this. How is this dish? How wonderful this is. Just leave the water out. This is all gonna melt now. Mozzarella has melted. beautiful plate so the mozzarella has melted you know I'm doing this in a really hot weather it's okay I cook from home and I'm going to show you more recipes more love in the kitchen thank you <laughs>